Now, of course, we would all want our uh, wedding day to be absolutely unforgettable, and the only foolproof way to ensure that we preserve those very special memories is, of course, to have a visual record. So the wedding photographer has always been central uh, to proceedings. We've been down in Kerry meeting one photographer who has used his experience as a photojournalist to produce a very distinctive record of the big day. I suppose I took my very first picture when I was probably about eight or nine years of age in an old Kodak uh, camera. Um, but I really fell into the passion of, of photography uh, at about uh, 13 years of age. I always described myself as a lazy artist. Uh, I always had a, an interest in art and drawing and, and painting and stuff like that, but I was always uh, impatient to wait for the final result. And when I found photography, I, it, it was the perfect answer to that because I was able to get results pretty much instantly from, from what I, I envisaged uh, the image to be. Grab hold of them by the waist and just do a little bit of the rock the boat. You know, I didn't even feel under pressure at all. You know, he, even when he comes up with different ideas along the way, he does it in a way that you just feel completely at ease. And, he, you know, he is very sensitive to the fact he can, he can tell when you don't want to do something and he, you know, will back off. When I saw Brendan's work when I was going around looking for photographers, the minute I saw his work, it just, you know, there was no decision to be made. It was just obvious how wonderful, how great a photographer he is. Just absolutely talented. I can't wait to see the pictures. Sorry to push you so hard. Yeah, absolutely fine. But yeah, I can't I'm wait really to see them. Sorry, I'm can't wait. Thanks a again. Our style would be slightly different than, than to mainstream wedding photography. What I have a tendency to do is, is look at old, old classical paintings. Uh, Caravaggio's paintings were, were stunningly lit. Uh, and it's amazing that photography is still very close to paintings. And, and that's where we've been actually bringing our wedding photography is back to the painting days. That's it. Yeah, that's the rush. That's lovely, yeah, just the other bunch of the hip. We avoid, um, if, if at all possible, um, fabulous landscape and scenery and stuff like that because we feel it actually takes from the, the viewer looking at the image that the couple should stand out in the image. So we sometimes find that back alleyways or red brick walls or uh, ruins can actually make for a, a much stronger image. Hi, Pauline. How are you? How are you keeping? How are you all set to see your yes. wedding photographs? Very good. Well, we have a slideshow already here now to show you. The best prize you can ever get is, 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 is when a client comes and, and you, they get a tear in their eye when they see their, photo, their wedding photographs. That, to me, is, is the biggest prize you'll ever get. Cool, it's gotten so big! Last year we, we, were, we were fortunate to win Photographer of the Year. It was the, the SWP Irish Photographer of the Year. And we also, with that, won Best Wedding Photograph of the Year and Best Portrait of the Year, which was, uh, it was the first time that I had entered a national photography competition. And um, it was great to win it. So next year, the challenge will be to see can I retain the title. We have shot a, quite a few high-profile weddings, um, which seems to have given us a prestige uh, as that type of photographer. Um, we find, we find the, some of them can be quite challenging, but every wedding is quite challenging the way we shoot it. Um, we always set a target to give everybody 110% uh, when we shoot our weddings. We're taking our first steps uh, towards a, international wedding photography. One of the new uh, products that we're, we're doing is, is actually bringing people to um, foreign countries to shoot them in their wedding uh, dress and, and, and suit. Uh, we, we've had a recent one where we've shot uh, in location in Paris and Venice uh, within two days. Uh, the couple um, had hired us to give them something different so we, we, we spent a day and a night in, in Paris and then uh, the same again in Venice. I was contacted by um, an Indian photographic magazine um, recently who were had come stumbled across my website and were highly impressed with my work and that they wanted to do a four-page feature on me. They did feature me in, in, in what is Asia's biggest um, photographic magazine 
and I was fortunate enough to be alongside one of the photographers, Joe Busink, who is regarded in the world as probably being one of the top 10 photographers. Um, to, so to be featured beside him in this magazine was, was, um, was a great thrill. And when the magazine arrived, I was very fortunate to see as well that I had made the front cover of that magazine. So it, it, it is great to see that, that, that the name Landy Photography has has spread its wings out around the world now and it's it's uh, Asia is one of the markets that we're actually looking at um, in, in spreading our wings. I've been very fortunate to have uh, come across a lot of people in my career down through the years uh, that have been very lucky to have had the opportunity to photograph people like Michael Jackson, Johnny Cash, Michael Jordan, Bill Clinton, just to name a few. Even at a local level, a picture of John McKean, Brian McMahon and Eamon Kelly, um, which uh, has become uh, a bit of an iconic picture for me in that uh, a lot of people uh, have it within their own collection. Uh, and even um, our Irish president, uh, Mary Robinson, when she was president at the time, asked for a copy of the picture, which she, she has still to this day. ambitions for the future would be to continue to progress in, in the field of wedding photography, keep pushing the, uh, the envelope further and further, create more magical images and keep challenging ourselves to be better and better. Some really stunning and memorable images there.